Hello, I'm Jennings, and today I'm going to tell you some facts about the first 16 presidents. Science. George Washington did not live in the White House. Also, he didn't wear a wig, he just powdered his hair white. John Adams was the first president who also signed the Declaration of Independence. Thomas Jefferson sent two envoys to France to negotiate the purchase of Louisiana, a tiny part of Louisiana, so that the U.S. could have a Mississippi naval base. However, France was, and he gave them three million for this. Now, France was in a bit of a financial situation. They said, you know, we'll give you the whole thing. But I, I forget the exact price, it was like for 13 million. And they, they came back and said, guess what? We just bought all this stuff from France. And Thomas Jefferson was not happy because he didn't have any of this money yet. So he had to go say, Congress, um, yeah, I, I need $10 million. Thomas Jefferson also had an affair with his slave, donated his personal library to the US Library of Congress after it was burned by the Brits, and had a giant wheel of cheese on his inaugural date. James Madison led the nation into the War of 1812. James Monroe was a very popular president. His terms were known as the Era of Good Feelings. He also had a very large nose. John Quincy Adams won the election under very questionable circumstances. He negotiated a corrupt bargain with Henry Clay and John Calhoun in which they would both support John Quincy Adams in exchange for certain things, namely being appointed Speaker of the House and being able to keep their slaves, respectively. He also had a pet alligator and one Sunday locked himself out of the White House. He had to climb in through a window because everyone was at church. At his inaugural celebration, Andrew Jackson had a giant piece of cheese. This was the largest piece of cheese ever produced. You see, he did this to irritate Thomas Jefferson. Because Thomas Jefferson was very, um, he supported religious part freedom. And, um, and so the Baptists, who were a persecuted minority in New England, really, really thanked him for this. And the Baptists were mostly cheesemakers. So they gave Thomas Jefferson a piece of cheese, a giant piece of cheese. And Andrew Jackson really hated Thomas Jefferson. He was like, screw Jefferson, I'm gonna get a bigger piece of cheese. Martin Van Buren was the first president born on U.S. soil, and nobody liked him. William Henry Harrison was the first president to die in office. He died after 40 days as president when he caught pneumonia giving a six-hour inaugural address. John Tyler was the first Whig to serve a full term. William Henry Harrison was also a Whig, but he died. Term. The deer oh. behind you, Jackson. Oh. Well, wasn't that exciting? Yep. For it. James K. Polk was a dark horse candidate. He quickly rose to fame, then finished his political agenda, and then died months after finishing his term. They might be giants wrote a song about him after his death. Zachary Taylor smoked a lot, and that's really all there is to it. Millard Fillmore. There is absolutely nothing interesting about Millard Fillmore. He was a mediocre president, he accomplished nothing, and there are no interesting facts about him. Franklin Pierce was a commander in the Mexican-American War. He also had a small chin. James Buchanan was unable to avert the Civil War. That's right, James Buchanan, you have failed us. You are a failure. There are many, many stories about Abraham Lincoln. He was a wrestling champion. He had a high-pitched voice. He won the Lincoln-Douglas debates, which were not with Frederick Douglass. Don't even know they weren't. Um, his hat was knocked off in a previous assassination attempt before the one that killed him. He grew a beard because an eight-year-old told him to. And his son was saved from being run over by a cart by John Wilkes Booth's brother. 